Spiral and Protection, my beautiful, beautiful Libra. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. I'm going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the Libra energy. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I will. Everything is everything on yours. We are experiencing some very powerful energy right now. We all know as above, so below. As within, so without. So we are going to be experiencing major, major changes. I'm hearing resets. I'm hearing recharge. I'm hearing re re rejuvenate, recharge, reset, rejuvenate, <laughs> recalibrate, recuperate. You know, there's a lot going on right now in the energy, but there's a lot going on. You could see it even manifesting in this physical reality. So much is being exposed. Um, and a lot of the illusion, illusions are um, starting to dissipate. People are starting to break free from the ma of tricks. So we're going to take a peek and see what the cards have to say for Libra energy during this very pivotal time in our lives. All we have is right now. So we're going to take a peek and see right now uh, we have who is this playing? We have the barge and this is called stay with me. So some of you all during this Mercury retrograde, uh, you may have had an ex or someone that uh, wants you to stay with them. So someone could have returned uh, speaking to you their their desire um like i said to rekindle you know i was getting that re-re energy so this is someone wanting to rekindle or to reunite uh the ace of cups is on the bottom of the deck for you so i feel there was a lot of healing um i also feel strongly trust your intuition don't just do something to go along and get along or to appease and please be mindful to be balanced within yourself do what feels right sits right in your spirit and um, if it doesn't be off of it immediately I do feel there's uh, a potential for a new beautiful uh, connection or a new beautiful experience emotional experience uh, that you will encounter with someone uh, perhaps you know forging some sort of uh, beautiful romantic uh, connection or uh, even a commitment uh, I do get a sense of building a nucleus. So first becoming friends uh, through communication, through conversation, stimulating conversation, you know, taking the conversation to the depths, getting deep, you know, into, uh, you know, into uh, who that person may be. So you're being stimulated. I feel a strong sense of cerebral um you know, uh, stimulation, like you're being stimulated, you're intrigued, you like what you hear. Uh, but I also feel that there's some sort of awakening um, as well, awakening as to perhaps what your life purpose path and mission is or what you truly desire and feeling the strong need to, uh, to, to embark upon it, to uh, go after that dream, to follow that dream. Uh, I, I get a strong sense of like, you know, this urge. Maybe there's something that is kind of uh, erupting within you uh, that you are now starting to hear louder and louder and louder. And I feel it has a lot to do, as I said, with this, this celestial energy. We are currently uh, in Scorpio full moon and Scorpio energy is all about regeneration and renewals and, and, and transformation shifts uh, that are taking place. So there's going to be a lot of changes. Uh, you may find yourselves going through a startling metamorphosis. Some of you may find yourselves um, just waking up one day and, you know, resigning from your job or waking up one day and just booking a flight uh, to a country that you've always wanted to visit um, or just changing something within your daily routine uh, because this is what's bringing that balance this is what's bringing you into that space of feeling more in equilibrium with yourself with your higher self so that's beautiful energy um, what we have on the split 
is we have the wheel. So out with the old, in with the new. The wheel of fortune is about what's destined to be in your life. So even if this is a destined type of love that you are attracting to you, it's as if spirit is saying uh, that that old cycle is wrapping up. Something has come full circle. And the angels are the ones that are turning this wheel, as you could see. So it's like the angels are uh, creating this turning point. I feel that they're providing a fresh start. Um, and it's the end of any blockages or any delays. So if you felt like you couldn't move forward or you felt like there was, you know, someone trying to thwart your plans, even if it was your own belief systems um, or self-deceit or anxieties uh, hindering you, I feel like your angels are, uh, you know, kind of getting rid of any of those doubts that you may have carried. Uh, I do feel that there's going to be a sudden and unexpected um, change. You know, this could be in regards to love because the Ace of Cups is about love. It also could speak to just that love of self. You know, you coming into the space where you're no longer cloudy. You're no longer feeling um you know, unfulfilled emotionally. But I do feel that there's a very positive change. And some of you all may be traveling, as I said, uh, booking that flight. I'm hearing Indonesia. I'm hearing uh, Asia. I'm hearing Africa. Some of you all may be going to ancient Kemet to see the pyramids of Giza. Giza. I like Giza, but they call it Giza. Um, you know, maybe you may be going to Taiwan, I heard. Uh, but whatever the case... I do feel like, you know, travel could be in the cards, you know, booking a flight, planning a trip, even if you're taking a road trip, even if you just want to take the scenic route, you may be just taking a week or two off just to drive to the West Coast if you're on the East or to the East Coast if you're on the West or to the South if you're in the North or to the North if you're in the South. It's just, you know, really wanting to um, just kind of free your mind uh, and get out of the routine. So let's tap into it and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up. Uh, Shay, so beautiful spirit. What messages do you have for our beloved Libras? We have a message of peace, power, and protection. And uh, we have Jodeci, and this is called You and I. So you and I. So I do feel, and I do like to show and prove. So with this you and I, and it is currently 11.36 on the clock, and that reduces to 11, that you and I is giving me a sense that that's like your twin. You know, that could be like, because I'm getting like the two of cups with that two, because 11 breaks down to two. Two is not only the high uh, priestess or high priest, uh, which is telling you trust your intuition, intuition, which is telling you someone could be communicating with you intuitively, dreaming of you, thinking of you, or perhaps communicating with you telepathically. But it's also giving me the two of cups because I do feel like with you and I, someone who feels like you are made in their likeness you may speak their love language they feel like they can have equal give and take with you this is someone who may have made some sort of decision uh, that they would like to um, they would like to connect with you uh, so let's tap in and see what the cards have to say so divine spirit of peace power and protection what messages do you have for my beautiful Libras what messages do you have for my beautiful Libras on the bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Swords, so there's a message coming in very quickly, but we have the Four of Wands, so I can't make this up. With you and I, I was telling you I was getting the Two of Cups, so this Four of Wands is absolutely saying this is a Twin Flame. I, was, I said Twin Flame when I said Two of Cups, and look what time it is, 11.38. So that 11.38 reduces to 11.11, which is the vibration of this Four of Wands. So 1111 is the vibration of four. This person loves you. I feel like this person um, is going to bring a lot of joyous energy. Um, I feel you're going to be in a very celebratory um, state because uh, this is you building a family, building a nucleus. I feel like there's um, going to be a lot of prosperity, peace, and just emotional contentment, emotional fulfillment in your personal life. Uh, I feel that your angels, your ancestors are aligning you with someone that is meant uh, 
that it, you are divinely meant to be with. As we saw, they were turning that wheel. So I do feel this is a faded um, event. I feel this is someone that has a lot of passion, a lot of love. And I do feel this will resort or result in marriage. This will result in uh, commitment. Um, it appears that they are, uh, you know, going through some sort of ceremony. But this is a beautiful connection. And I feel the divine, your angels are behind this conspiring. So be mindful to send gratitude and be thankful to your guides uh, because they are aligning you with someone that is um, on your frequency and that definitely speaks your love language. Uh, with this Knight of Swords, and we're about to pull the card for the person that you're attracting. I do feel that this is, there could be a masculine uh, that wants to communicate. Um, I see a bird that appears to be like a red cardinal here. And red cardinals are associated with the masculine energy. Uh, so you may have an ancestor, a father figure, a brother, a uncle, a grandfather, um, a cousin, a male cousin, maybe even a close friend uh, that passed on, that transitioned um, that may be sending in someone who will confess or communicate this love for you. Uh, with Lauren Hill, we got final hour. So this person is feeling like an urge. You know, I feel like this person is rushing in because they're feeling like, you know, if they don't do it now, it's 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 either now or never. Uh, so they feel, you know, driven uh, to to express whatever this is. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of um, someone being very decisive, very focused, uh, very perhaps even defensive, maybe wanting to defend, you know, this connection, wanting to fight for this connection. Um, so I do get a sense of that as well. Uh, but I do feel there's an unexpected change uh, that will be coming. Uh, I'm also getting, you know, there's this this person, whoever this communi that's communicating, especially with that sword upright, they are coming in with some facts. <laughs> you know, they're coming in with receipts, beloved. So there's the, I'm getting a sense of tangible. So if this person is coming back to confess or express something because they feel like it's now or never, uh, they may come in with an engagement ring with, you know, something to prove their love. Uh, perhaps this will be the person that will impart those uh, tickets to your favorite locality. Um, and they are the reason why you're taking that flight or you're going on that trip. Uh, whatever this is, I do get a sense of... Um, I get a sense that you need to just, you know, use, just use your intuition. You know, that's all. Just trust what you're feeling, you know, intuitively. So let's see who or what is our beloved Libras attracting to them. Because that, that sword energy is your energy. So I do feel like you're being very um, mindful to trust what you are feeling, you know. But you're also prepared to communicate with this person and whatever they have to say. But I do feel like they're trying to match your vibration, your, you know, match your fly. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have the king of wands. So they are attracted to you, but I also feel like they are very motivated, very inspired, um, very ambitious. Like this is somebody that is really ready to, to uh, come after you. How they feel about you is also that you are a leader, that you're very ambitious, goal-oriented, um, maybe you inspire them. Maybe that's why they felt like it's now or never. Uh, this is someone that's definitely um, looking at you as someone who's uh, who's very um, very much a star. Like you're in the spotlight, perhaps. So what you're attracting to you is someone who um, thinks the world of you. I also get a sense of them being at a distance. Uh, I do feel like there's a lot of success. What you're attracting to you, if if you've been working towards certain goals um, or certain endeavors, I feel like, you know, especially with this Jupiter energy, um, or not Jupiter, that looks like Saturn energy. It's like you you are being rewarded because there's some sort of success here. And as we saw with the angel, you know, with the wheel of fortune during the split, now we see this angel here. Uh, this is a joyful, joyful time because you've accomplished something major, 
perhaps this person uh, I feel will be perhaps coming towards you because they freed themselves of some sort of burden or they freed themselves from something that could have hindered uh, this connection. They obviously are um, perhaps planning that trip that I was picking up. This could be someone that may take you on some sort of uh, trip and they may propose, you know, I'm here in destination wedding. Uh, but I do get a sense of coming into spiritual alignment, uh, gaining a deeper, more profound understanding and perspective of the self. So what you are attracting to you is freedom, freedom to do whatever it is that you desire to do because you've learned to navigate very difficult circumstances. I feel someone else is also freed. They freed themselves of some sort of, you know, bind. Um, freed themselves out of a bind, or freed themselves from a certain mindset. Um, they've gained wise dome, whatever this is, whoever this is, or this could just be your energy and what you're attracting to you. But this king of um, wands, how they feel about you is, as I said, very motivated, very inspired, very ambitious, a leader, a boss, very attractive. That's an attractive energy to see someone going after what they want confidently, assertively. So let's see what the cards have to say. And uh, we have Fool's Paradise here. Uh, so they do want to take that chance, take that leap. And this is by Melissa Morgan. So you could be dealing with someone named Melissa or Morgan, first, middle, or last. So let's tap in. So with Fool's Paradise, so this is someone I do feel that wants a new start. Um, this is someone that definitely wants to start. Uh, start over you know they may want to rekindle something maybe they feel like they were foolish in the past or maybe this is someone that, that played you for boo boo the fool uh so that king of uh wands is still in the bottom of the deck you got a couple of cards that flew out to uh speak on how this person feels about you or what the situation is so with the three of wands absolutely manifesting your reality you're manifesting your reality, beloved, planning for some sort of long term outcome. This is like you set intention, you plan prepared, and now you're taking action. There's abundance from the decisions that you've made in your past. And I also feel you're going to be very proud of the success that you achieve from your labor, from your hard work, from your efforts. And I feel like spirit is just telling you, be patient. So someone is planning to come towards you. There is distance, as you can see, because there is a boat here. And so that boat definitely denotes that travel is necessary along with the world. So they do need to travel. I feel you will also find yourselves traveling the world. Some of you all will, you know, Libras are, you know, um, you like to visit new places. I feel like you got to take your time to get something right. So don't rush um, into anything. This is beautiful. And we also have the king of swords here. So with this king of swords, that's your energy. So just be, you know, very, um, be very, I would say, be patient with yourself. Because you're highly intelligent. And you don't take too kindly to anyone insulting your intelligence. So just be sure to communicate clearly and concisely what you need. So before perhaps, you know, speaking or before saying things, perhaps just meditate to get things straight. I also get a sense of like maybe you are coming off as emotionally unavailable, perhaps a little... A little harsh, a little, un, you know, unemotional. Just just be fair or objective. Be mindful to be objective. That's what I'm getting. And then we have the Knight of Swords again. So you've gone from the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like you are growing. There is growth. You know, whatever this is, this person sees your growth. Maybe in the past you used to just say things off the top of your head without thinking. So maybe that was the old you and now you have aver emerged as a king of sorts. So you went from the knight to the king in this person's eyes, whomever this is, or even just in spirit's eyes, like they see your growth. Now you're taking the time to plan, prepare. Now you're taking the time uh, to move with intentionality. 
So we have right now, yep, on the other side of the game. So other side of the game is playing by Erica Badu. So now you're on the other side. So it's like you're on the other side of the spectrum. So you went from being someone who just kind of spoke, um, just said whatever, you know, came to mind, kind of like diary of the mouth. Um, and now it's like you're more um, prone to to thinking before you speak. Very intelligent now, very, very wise. But you also come off very stoic. So this energy could be a little intimidated because you may seem impartial at times. So just be mindful of that, Libras. So let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. What is uh, hidden in the energy for my beloved Libras? Thank you. Your card flew on the floor. We got the Ten of Pentacles here. So this is beautiful because that is absolutely uh, showing a lot of your hard work paying off. That speaks to financial security for yourself, your family. That could be inheritance. Um, this could be building a legacy. This could be retirement. This is peace and contentment in your life, honing um, certain skills, gifts, and talents. Even, you know, honoring your family, traditions, pride in some of your um taking pride in your family tree perhaps you know passing on knowledge to your own children we have the king of pentacles here for what's hidden so that libra you know i mean um libra this king of pentacles i feel is just uh someone that's very compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded uh this is someone devoted someone that is practical um reliable someone supportive of your dreams this is a good person to even work for a good person to work around because they you know they they believe in nurturing a connection i feel things are going to turn out very beautifully better than you anticipated which is why spirit said you know kind of contemplate meditate and contemplate to get something straight i feel like whatever you do you know you don't realize it's going you're going to have the midas touch but there's a lot of financial security uh, and prosperity just ahead. You're on the precipice of, of, of financial stability, security. And with the Ten of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck, this is just double, triple confirmation. This is powerful. And we have that other side of the game. So you're on the other side. I feel this is like you're coming. If you're going through a dark night of the soul journey, you're coming out of that dark tunnel and into the lightness, into better days, into uh, happier days or happier times or positive energy. This is beautiful. I love it. So Libra, let's see what the outcome is. Thank you, spirit. So we have in the bottom of the deck, the four of um, swords. And so that Four of Swords is really giving you um, fresh, pers fr fresh perspectives, insights, you know, which will come from your meditation, which is why I just said meditate to get something straight, contemplate. You also need to take, you know, some vacation time, you know, take some of that PTO, take some of that time. Don't just be a workaholic, you know, if you were to expire today. You know, and you look back on, you know, all the PTO hours that you are just accumulating and you didn't love yourself enough to prioritize you to take a break, to take a, a, a some time away. Um, you will you will have regrets. So it's, it's about allowing yourself the time um, to get grounded, the time to get back to self. Like I said, re re energy, rejuvenating, recuperating, recalibrating, recharging, resetting your batteries because you could be a little exhausted you know thinking 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 maybe you have analysis paralysis maybe you're constantly up in your head but what came out for your outcome is you have the ace of pentacles so this is absolutely confirming um what we just saw so there is a windfall of abundance money sudden wealth unexpected income uh, whatever wise counsel you may have sought, whether even if that was you going within, uh, you know, you know, to take those internal self audits. It's like you are reaching, you know, this this pinnacle place of of success 
I feel there's good fortune ahead for you. I definitely feel there's an exciting opportunity that will be presented. Maybe you are also, you know, because this is a big, beautiful ma mansion. So you could be signing some business contracts. You could be relocating, purchasing a home, a vehicle. Like you're, you're, you're making some significant purchase in your life. I also see the strength card here for the outcome. So you've had to muster up the strength. You had to lean on your strength, brave your light. This is your personal power and your assertiveness. You've learned to assert yourself. I feel like you're also portrayed as a very kind soul, very kind, very compassionate. I think you learned you're much stronger than you may have given yourself uh, credit for as well. With the Ten of Swords, I feel like you're walking away from people, places, and things that may have betrayed you. The Ten reduces to one. So that's like the Ace of Swords. You now have the clarity. This is the end of a very difficult situation. And you walking away is going to bring relief. It's going to lift the sadness or that 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 melancholy feeling that you were suffering from almost in silence i feel like you have now opened up the door for you to experience new joys new happiness because you can see your bags are packed so this is you finally saying i'm done i'm leaving some of you are leaving marriages like i said or you know you're you're leaving something old to come into something new to come into a new uh, connection because you've had some sort of awakening this is like that grand epiphany you see something for what it truly is and this is the her um hangman so a lot of you may have taken a lot of time taking nature walks uh being out in nature i feel like you were stuck at a fork in the road where you knew there was a decision that you may have had to make which is why you were kind of like you know in the past just kind of doing anything just just saying anything like you know you weren't really meditating before taking action and now you're more prone to doing just that to avoid going through this type of betrayal again with this ace of wands here i feel like you've learned that you are uh the alchemist that you are the magi i feel there's a, an amazing opportunity that you've manifested and you're bolder now, you're more courageous, you're more optimistic about your future because you've mustered up the strength to walk away from those people, places, things that no longer serve you. And I feel like you're going after your dreams, you're following your dreams, you're going after those things that you feel passionate about. And you're taking action now. And with this release card, you're letting go of anything, you know, that doesn't serve you. You're letting go of anything that... Uh, has led to disappointment this is a new beginning this is a new start so that release is really what has triggered some spiritual transformation because people were holding you back or circumstance was holding you back when you release it you will recognize your spiritual uh, transformation here this is powerful so clean clear cleanse meditate get it straight and you will absolutely be embarking upon some beautiful new start and we have um, we have um, oh look at that Jill Scott I am not afraid so with that I am not afraid that's just because you have owned your power. You're stronger now. You know who you are. You're now, you know, um, utilizing that personal power. So this is your reading, Libra. I hope the message has resonated. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new here, I hope you uh, like the video, share the video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Till next time. Peace.